We're meeting a first-time father who also happens to be blind. You're a parent, right? Yes, and I can easily say that it is the most challenging and most rewarding responsibility that I've ever had. But I love being a mom and wouldn't change it for the world. That's awesome. I, I aspire to become a parent someday. Not today and not tomorrow, but someday. <laughs> That's great. But a word of caution, if you're ever looking for information about blind parenting, it's not so readily available. That's actually what Keith Rempel found when he went online to search for tips. So he decided to do something about it and began blogging about the triumphs and challenges of parenting. Oh my gosh, I would love to have read something like that when my kids were little. That would be great. An Edmonton presenter Alex Smythe met up with Keith and his family to find out more about his experiences as a blind father, his blog, and sharing his love of music with his daughter. Through the use of different instruments like the bass guitar, keyboard, and of course through song. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. My name is Keith Rempel. I'm a totally blind musician and relatively new father. For the little boy who lives down the lane. When I found out that I was going to be a father, I was scared but excited. It's probably a lot of the same things that um, any sighted parent might be. Afraid of, I was, I've never changed it to diaper before. When she was born, I was afraid to wash her face because I was like, what if I break her? Ukulele, yeah, it's a hard word to say, isn't it? Here. I have glass eyes, so I'm like not, I'm not really familiar with how much pressure you can put on an eye. But I, I made a list of some of the things that I wanted to improve before having a baby. Everything from, I wanted to get better at cooking. You ready for some peach? I'm gonna have some peach first. Yummy, hey? Peach, yeah, good job. I don't think I was really regularly doing diaper changes for the first week and a half or so because I was just so afraid of doing it wrong. And, but there's nothing to be afraid of and there's no reason you can't do it just as well as, as a sighted person. My name is Michelle Rempel and my husband is Keith. What really helped was two things. His mom was here and she kind of went through how to do a diaper change with him. And the other thing is that Keith is fearless. <laughs> He's just, that's, that's who he is. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? You're squirmy. The first couple weeks of Cecilia's life, I, I wanted to find some things to do with her, kind of to connect and, you know, you got this baby you hold, they sleep on you, and then all of a sudden you're like, well, what are we gonna do? So we read books, and then what else? So early on I started taking her downstairs. We've got an electric piano, and. I sit her on my lap and I play a song and sing to her and let her kind of mash the keys. She want to play us a little song? Oh, pretty good. What do you have to? Yeah, good one. That's really fun to kind of share music with her and expose her to lots of music. Yeah, or you hit it, whatever you wish. I have a guitar and I take that out every once in a while and let her kind of pound on the guitar. We have a kazoo in her toy box now that she likes to play. Yeah! <laughs> When we were uh, preparing for having Cecilia, we noticed that there wasn't a lot of information out there that we could find for parents that are blind. Ah, you got it again. I found a lot of resources for parenting a blind child, but I didn't find a ton for being blind and being a parent, which I thought was strange because I know I'm, I'm, by no means am I the first blind person to be a parent. I thought it might be good to have this blog for other blind people to check out if, if they're becoming parents and have some questions, or just for, for sighted people who are curious to kind of read and see that, oh, it's, it's possible and it's not, it's not as hard as you might think. Keith has been blogging about his experiences ever since his daughter was born. Heading level one, my dad is blinder than your dad. I am totally blind, end of banner, heading level two. But honestly, most of the conversations I've had with people on my blog have been more about general parenting techniques. This past weekend was Cecilia's first birthday. My wife is going back to work, so right now the next phase for us is getting ready for daycare, and I'm really, uh, I'm gonna have to be dropping off and picking up Cecilia from daycare. Something that we did prepare a bit for was taking her for a walk. We tried to see if he could pull her in a, in a stroller behind him. It was just important to us that he be able to walk on his own with her without me. Right now I walk her around in a carrier. She just straps onto my front. We'll go for a walk. Dad's got to get his cane. Sometimes she holds my cane for me. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. 
Michelle is also a musician, and together they enjoy playing music with Cecilia. You're happy and you know it, clap your hands. It's pretty special to have a little kid, and it feels like you're, you're seeing life through like another window. Well, you take it one day at a time. In the beginning, you take it one hour at a time, and you'll figure out what works. Largely, your experience with being a parent is the same as your experience with being a blind person. It's just you find your own way to adapt to things and, and make it work for you. Oh my goodness, I love getting to know Keith and his family. What a great story. Absolutely, and as we mentioned at the top of the segment, Keith's blogging about his experience is really valuable, especially with so little information out there for blind parents. His blog is called, and I kid you not, My Dad is Blinder Than Your Dad, for those who want to check it out. That is a great title for a blog. And you know, it'll be good to check in with Keith and his family down the road, because as you know, kids present more challenges as they get older. Including learning how to walk with his daughter once she becomes too big to fit in the carrier, because because of course he has to carry around his cane. Right. And also the balance between when Cecilia wants to play and keeping her safe when it's only Keith who's looking after her. Mm -hmm. Again, to learn more about Keith's story, check out his blog at mydadisblinderthanyourdad.com.